welcome to this short screencast on choosing subjects for Year 11 Preliminary HSC Studies. Its purpose is to provide parents and students with advice about choosing a suitable course of study for Years 11 and 12. The slides have been prepared by Nessa for use by schools in their presentations to parents and students. The advice contained in this presentation is provided for the benefit of students in helping them select an appropriate pattern of study to meet their learning needs and the requirements of the award of both the Year 11 Record of School Achievement or the ROSA in 2021 and the Higher School Certificate or the HSC in 2022. Advice will also be provided alongside this information for the award of the ATAR, which is calculated by the University's Admissions Centre. For more detailed information about individual courses of study and the ATAR, please refer to the Student Portal Subject Selection Handbook and the VET Subjects website, details of which have been shared with you. When choosing subjects, students should take into account their interests and abilities. The best advice we can give any student is to pick the subjects they are good at and enjoy. Research from UAC has clearly shown that choosing subjects that are perceived to have a scaling advantage can be detrimental to overall student achievement. Choosing courses of study well beyond a student's ability and interests can be demoralising. Advice from the Vice-Chancellor's Committee from UAC is clear. Scaling favours only those students who perform well in their subjects, not those who perform poorly in difficult subjects, such as extension mathematics and English courses. It is far better to perform well in English or mathematics standard than to perform poorly in the advanced courses. Teachers in religious education Maths, English and Science will advise students of possible courses of study available to them based on their performance in Stage 5 subjects to help them make informed choices for Years 11 and 12. To be eligible for the Year 11 ROSA and satisfy preliminary course requirements, students must study at least 12 units of courses and for the award of the HSC, they must study a minimum of 10 units. Please be aware that the requirements for the ATAR are not the same as those for the award of the HSC. Students must sit HSC exams in at least 10 units in Year 12 to be eligible for the award of the ATAR. Students can only count two units of Category B courses in their 10 units. These courses might include the study of English studies or VET subjects. Students can study more than one Category B subject, but only two units will count towards the ATAR. If a student studies English studies, then this will count towards their ATAR as their Category B subject. Courses are structured according to their unit value. All courses for the preliminary course are timetabled during regular school hours. Students will pick from a maximum of 13 units in Year 11 according to our timetable structure. HSC extension courses in History, Italian and French, as well as extension to Mathematics and English are timetabled outside of regular school hours. These are only studied in Year 12. The basic requirements for subject selections include the compulsory study of English, at least two units, and a subject from RE, such as Studies of Religion, one or two unit, or Catholic Studies, one unit. At least two units of English is compulsory for the award of both the HSC and the ATAR. Students studying English studies are also eligible for an ATAR. In addition to meeting the pattern of study requirements, students must also have achieved at a minimum standard level three of the Australian Skills Framework to be awarded the HSC. These HSC minimum standards tests are first sat in year 10 and students have multiple opportunities to demonstrate the minimum standard. Students need only demonstrate the minimum standard once each in reading, writing and numeracy to be awarded the HSC. Students must also complete all my own work in Year 10 to be eligible for enrolment into Year 11. There are five modules that are completed at school in Guidance, English, Science and PDHPE. These must be satisfactorily completed by the end of Year 10 before the college can enrol a student into Year 11 courses of study with NESA. Once enrolled into Year 11 and or Year 12, a student must apply themselves to all the set experiences in those courses, maintain compulsory school attendance and participate in all co-curricular activities as part of the regular school day. 
which includes masses, retreats, excursions and sports carnivals. Students who do not comply with these requirements may receive an end warning. Schools need only issue two end warnings to a student for a principal to withhold a course or courses of study from a student which may jeopardise the award of the Year 11 ROSA or of the HSC. How is the HSC determined? The HSC marks the students receive at the end of Year 12 are a combination of the moderated internal assessment program of the college against the HSC exam results. The exam result reported to a student on the HSC test or more is not the raw exam mark, but a mark derived from the student's performance in that exam against the course standard. It is expressed as both a mark and as a band. The student rank provided by the college is retained by NESA and used to moderate the internal assessment program against the cohort of student performance in that exam. How is the ATAR determined? The ATAR is calculated by UAC and uses both the raw exam marks, remember these are not reported to students, and the moderated assessment marks provided by NESA. These are scaled and then the 10 best units are chosen, including at least two units of English to determine the ATAR. As mentioned previously, choosing subjects for the perception that they scale well is a myth. Scaling points are released by UAC in January each year to show how students performed in the previous HSC exams. It is not a predictor of future performance in these exams by students, and therefore choosing subjects based on past performance is not a good strategy. As you can see from these case studies, students have chosen from a variety of subjects and studied these at various levels. Some students did not study mathematics or chose to study VET subjects and languages. In our analysis of our HSC results over the past six years, we have had students in visual arts, drama, ancient history, and languages, amongst other courses of study, consistently outperform students in mathematics and English extension courses. More detailed information regarding the HSC and the ATAR is available from NESA and UAC. The student portal has additional information and advice regarding the processes for moderating the HSC to determine final HSC results and scaling the HSC results to determine the ATAR. In closing, we recommend choosing subjects that your daughter is good at and enjoys before considering future career options or pathways. Most universities, apart from the University of Sydney, do not have any particular prerequisites for study, but we recommend that you and your daughter check out any course requirements and discuss these with Ms Kemp, our careers advisor, or the university itself. Mr Dickinson is our VET cluster leader of learning who can answer questions regarding VET courses of study. Please make sure you review the resources on the VET website, especially regarding the mandatory seven hour, 70 hours of work placement. For individual subject advice, watch the subject videos on the student portal and review the subject selections handbook. Your daughter's teachers are also available to discuss options and recommendations for patterns of study. We wish you and your daughter all the best in choosing a suitable pattern of study based on her interests and abilities.